Hey everybody, it's HBP, and we are currently moving through the rocket hideout. So, uh, we're gonna go down here and fight this guy, because I don't remember what's down here. Anyway, in, uh, interesting bit of news today, today is, um, what is today? I think it's Wednesday, May 12th. Okay, there we go, yeah. And today, there was some interesting news about the upcoming, I guess they're upcoming, it won't be out for a while, especially here in the States, uh, Pokemon Black and White. Uh, if you don't want any spoilers about it, anything related to it, uh, just mute me for the next, like, minute or so, because I can't stop myself from talking. Anyway, the, um, starters for Black and White were revealed today by a scan from, uh, Koro, Koro in Japan, and, um, I don't know, we did their silhouettes for a few days, but I think they're really interesting, and I actually guessed what each one was, which I was pretty proud of myself. There's a, uh... The water one is an otter, the fire one is a pig, which I thought was really cool, I like pigs. And the grass one is once again a lizard. But it looks different from Trico, so you know. But, um... And there's also a rumor floating around that the grass one is a fighting type also. The fire one is a dark type, which is really cool, because that's like Houndoom, and Houndoom is my favorite Pokemon. Yes! And, uh... And the water one is a psychic type. Which kind of creates a sort of double triangle. I had hoped that they would just do, you know, a fighting starter, a dark starter, and a psychic starter, because, I mean, there isn't a three-stage dark type yet. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. But, uh, why did I go out there? Okay, now we're gonna go down these stairs. But anyway, the, um, I don't know, I'm really excited about them, and I'm interested to see what their evolutions are. Uh, their names, I don't actually remember what their names are. I will find them and put them up in an annotation, for real this time. Uh, we also got to see some scans of the, uh, two protagonists, which look older than other protagonists, except for, perhaps, Red and Leaf from Fire Red and Leaf Green, and the, also the name of the new continent, which I also don't remember. I will put that up as well. So, you know, that's the latest news regarding Pokemon, so I'll get back to this. So we're in the rocket hideout, and, uh, just kind of moving through and fighting the same old crap. And I'm trying to get, you know, Mankey is fighting a lot here, because I'm trying to get him enough experience so that he'll get to level 28 and become super awesome. Ugh, but that means we have to go through the really annoying floor tile maze in this place, and in the original three games, the floor tiles make you move so slowly it just gets really annoying and tedious. Ugh, but, you know, I really need to give Charmeleon more, you know, you know, screen time and experience. I'll probably just do that off screen, but when we get to the next gyms, Charmeleon's gonna have a lot of action, so that'll make up for it. Because every time I put him out in here, he gets either, you know, <laughs> status conditioned or just dies or something. I don't know. I don't know why that is. Charmeleon is, aw Charmeleon is awesome. I say awesome too much. That's not awesome. But, uh,. Here comes Mankey again. Uh, and I really don't like the rocket hideout here. It's just a really annoying area that doesn't give you much and just gets you one item you only use once, but I guess that is true with a lot of stuff in this game. No focus energy is pretty much worthless. I hate focus energy. Um, if I haven't explained focus energy already, it, uh, you know, heavily and heavily, it you know, increases the chance that your next attacks will be critical hits for your Pokemon. It doesn't make them 100%, but it makes them like, what, 80%? It just takes a turn and Mankey's defenses are low, and it just kinda... no. Not even gonna deal with that. See, it makes us move so slowly, but I want this item over here. Because I think it's a rare candy. And I'm right, it is a rare candy. Um... Okay, so go up here. Yeah, I kind of lost my way for a second there. Was not quite sure where I was going with that. Gonna go down here, over here, and thankfully they let us stop on this little space right here, and walk down here and go the right way, which is around here and to the top one, or the middle one right here, so we can go down, because we're trying to get an item that'll let us go down to the basement. And another Team Rocket member. I'm just fighting this guy for experience. Uh, sorry about all the unnecessary fights here, but I really just want to get that experience. Then I will skip as many as I can. 
Because, I mean, Maggie's 27. He's almost there. Man, for all the time I'm talking about Maggie's evolution and all that, you know, it better be worth it. It, it will be, though, because Maggie's evolution is so fast. But, and strong, so, you know, it's worth it. But I feel like I'm neglecting my other Pokemon. But I'll just make it up with them off screen, probably. Or on screen, who knows what'll happen. I'll just hit the mic for a second there. But, uh, Vaporeon gets, um, is gonna be pretty useful coming up, like I said earlier. See, so, yeah, I'm gonna try Charmeleon right here. And, yeah, Scratch isn't gonna do too much, and he's probably gonna put me to sleep. Oh, what a, uh, yep, there we go. See, he always gets hit by a status condition, and for some reason I didn't switch. Yeah, he gets hit by... No, he doesn't get hit by Disable. Why would you use Disable? Okay, I'm gonna wish... To... I'm gonna use Vaporeon here. Just to kind of test him out. That's a weird back sprite. That just looks... odd. Like, he has blades on his head. When they're actually just supposed to be fins. I don't know. Bubble Beam with its really loud... flashy... um... whatever you call that. Attack Sprite. Zzz. But it does a lot of damage, because Vaporeon is great, but... And Charmeleon leveled up. See, there he got something. But he's still got quite a few levels to go before he becomes, you know, nigh overpowered. So... Go up here and go down through this staircase. And I believe down in this room and up here... Uh... No, it's one room up. But what is this? Oh, it's an HP up. Good, I'll use that on somebody. Um... No, I'll just... Wait. Do I want to use it? Yeah, I'm going to use it. I don't know on who, though. Um... I might just give it to Hypno. I don't know why, I just feel like he needs more HP. Hypno's health rose. Okay. So HP ups will permanently increase the HP of your Pokemon. See, it increased his HP by two, but didn't heal him for that much either, so he's, like, down two health. So we're gonna fight this guy. The elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? Well, I don't know. Let's find out. So here's a, uh, you know, a necessary fight. So here's another rocket with a coughing. They, uh, alright. I'm not gonna get into why they use the same Pokemon over and over again. It obviously doesn't work, but, I mean, they're just grunts. They aren't smart enough to know that. Otherwise, they wouldn't be grunts. So him down. And what was next? Zubat? Yay, I'm brilliant! Ah, uh, go Pikachu. Get Pikachu some experience. Because I'm still trying to get him to level 26. Just shocking how much experience he apparently needs to get to those levels. Man, my puns are bad. Okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up. And you talk to him again, even though he just dropped the item. Oh no, I dropped the lift key! <laughs> Moron. Anyway, I shouldn't be mean to grunts. They're just grunts, after all. And TMO2? What is that? In later games, TMO2 is an awesome move. It's Dragon Claw, but this game doesn't have Dragon Claw, so let's check what that is. Ew, Razor Wind! Wow, that was a really messed up you. Anyway, Razor Wind is a move that takes two turns and doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's really not worth it. I mean, I just don't like moves that take two turns. The only one that really ends up being worth it, unless I'm wrong about Sky Attack, is probably Solar Beam, because Solar Beam can be shortened to one turn later in later generations. Uh, I'll fight this guy, even though I don't have to, just because I'm trying to get experience. Because I know Mankey's got to be really close. But let's just see about that. Good job. Uh... Low kick. Okay. Somehow this ends up doing a lot of damage to us. Well, I guess not. But it's been critical hitting a lot. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if you noticed that in the first fight with the Machop. I think he almost killed me in the first fight. But I was talking about black and white stuff then. So... Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, I tried to keep it, you know, spoiler friendly for people who didn't want to be spoiled black and white. I hope that doesn't backfire on some people. I just really wanted to talk about it. And Mankey is finally level 28. That's awesome. 
Alright, so let's see what we got. <laughs> Alright, Mankey's evolving! But into what? Dun 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 dun. And it's... Primeape! And where did he get those boxing gloves? I don't know. Unless his hands, like, morphed into boxing gloves, but that's really weird. I'm trying to learn Rage. I don't like Rage normally, but since he's so fast and powerful, I think I might just teach him that. Especially instead of Leer, because I don't use Leer anyway. Even though Leer is useful, I don't use it. Now, if he learns Screech, I might use that. I don't know if he does, though. And what is this item down here?